Hi, my beautiful friends. Let's react to this one. It is, I think it was nine months old. TTC chat, update viral popcorn taste test, and Monday things vlog. Now, again, I've watched all these in the past when she's put them out, but I haven't reacted to them and I haven't seen them since she's put them out. So this is from nine months ago. Let's have a watch. I FaceTime Yarman. I'm like, need help. He is literally stuck. I swear every month I like convince my body that I'm pregnant. Paling, sleeting, I'm not sure the difference. If you're someone who can just like eat one piece of popcorn at a time, we can't be friends. It's an awkward handful at a time. Oh. We just went on a night target run. It's a Saturday. Of course you did. What is going on here? Let me put her on normal. Day night, um, oh. and I, I don't know. I just threw my hair up. I don't even know. Okay. We've had a very, very, very God, chill Saturday. Not even like legit. Is she not even gonna address that? Binging White Lotus. He's watching it now with me, um, and we went to Target because Bruno broke his leash today. He wrapped himself around. What is sticky on here? Oh my God, babe. Why is my necklace sticky? Bruno. What the hell? As if he cares and as if he knows what's sticky on a necklace. Wrapped himself oh my around. God. Uh, what is that? A pimple or a mosquito bite? A cement pole and it got stuck like under this small crevice in the pole. I FaceTime Yarman. I'm like, need help. He is literally stuck. Yarman couldn't get it out. We had to cut it. The original plan was to go to Target for a new leash, but I've been seeing these all over TikTok. Tabitha Brown's collaboration with Target. She's had a different collection out before as well, and everyone says these popcorns are really good. So I got all three flavors. We're gonna taste test them. Of course you did. We have vegan dill pickle. I've heard this one slaps. The vegan roasted garlic and Parmesan. And what's the last one, babe? Can you hand it to me? I was really excited they had them. Yeah, I know you love a sweet and salty. Vegan sweet and salty. The packaging is so pretty. I heard this is the one that went viral. I, I think I could be wrong. I think the purple bag, the vegan roasted garlic and parm. Have you guys tasted them? Are they nice? But she has a bunch of other stuff too. So let me know if there's anything else we should try from her collection. There's still a lot left at our Target and mouthwash. So, all right, which one should we try first? The sweet and salty taste test. Sniff. Okay, promising. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna wait and eat it with you. Here's what the sweet and salty looks like. Okay. Mmm. Oh, that's different. It's not like a normal kettle corn. It's not. I love it. It's genuinely sweet and salty. Okay. No shit. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. That's what it says. So you'd expect it to taste that way. Right? It hits your tongue and it's sweet. Then you chew it and it's salty. And there's not, there's not a long list of ingredients too. Yarman is devouring. I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10. I don't know. It's really good. I wanna give it like a 10. I don't know, like the flavors are good. It's subtle. There's something about the popcorn. Like, take the flavor away. The popcorn itself tastes good. It's like airy popcorn. Right. Like air popped. Yeah. We love air popped. Yeah. Mm, okay. Um, let's do... Do you want to try the dill pickle or am I on my no. own? I'm on my own. Oh, that's disgusting. For this one. I love dill pickle anything. Oh, give it a whiff though. It smells like pickles. Yuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't get me wrong. I like pickles. Not like she likes them. I don't love them. I like them. But I wouldn't buy the popcorn that tasted like them. All right. Oh, for the love of God, she tilts her head right back like she's got a funnel pouring it into her mouth. Oh my God. <laughs> Tabitha. Oh my pickle girlies, where you at? Also, if you're someone who can just like eat one piece of popcorn at a time. Yeah, like some people do. They don't have to funnel it into their mouth. <laughs> We can't be friends. Well, it's an awkward please. handful at a time. Like, oh I don't want to be dramatic, but I feel like these both deserve a 10 out of 10. All right, I have a good feeling about this one. I think Yarman's gonna love this. We have roasted garlic and Parmesan. It has a very subtle smell. It doesn't really smell like much. Okay. But let's try it. We gotta do it together, it just feels right. Ready? Oh, oh my God. Yeah. She is such a moron. She is such a moron. We gotta do it together, it just feels right. 
she is so insecure about their so-called relationship. Oh my god. That's gourmet. I'm sorry. Gourmet. Would you even know what gourmet was? <laughs> of the way that you cook and your taste buds? What what would you know about gourmet? It is good for the soul. <gasps> I can see why that one like went viral because it's like unique. Garlic and Parmesan popcorn. <gasps> Yeah, th that's your favorite, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be gone yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> it's going to be gone tomorrow. That'll be gone tonight from you and him. Are we going to eat this while we watch White Lotus? Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, my God. Try them if they have them at your Target. Try them. I'm also annoyed because they didn't have sugar-free pudding mix, and I saw this, like, protein pudding on TikTok that I wanted to try. Um, so we're going to have to figure that out. Oh. Bruno wants some. But he probably can't eat some. Did your dad just put you on a counter? Did you break your leash today? You can't look in the camera's eyes, can you? Because you know... God. Neither can you, because you're a liar. Guys, look how quick his hair grows since he got groomed like a week ago. He's already getting... You should know why people don't look in front of the camera. His emo bangs back. Are you getting emo back? So we're halfway through White Lotus right now, um, the first season. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't handle any more of her talking TV shows or movies. I just can't. That's all she does. Hey, eyeball. <laughs> Good morning. It is the next day. My God, she looks like um, George Costanza wearing his Gore-Tex jacket. I'm a huge Seinfeld fan. <laughs> that just reminded me of George Costanza. I don't know if you guys know the episode I'm referring to. It's hilarious. Hey, it's so cold. I feel like we've been like so spoiled with good weather. Um, and now it's cold and it's spitting snow. So it's actually really, really pretty because we haven't had like much snow at all this year. And this might be controversial, but I like a little bit of snow. Um, oh, no shit. <laughs> no shit. We didn't know that. Um, I like a little cozy cozy. I don't want to be buried every day, but I like a little bit of snow. So it's really nice to have this like really pretty, just like spitting flurries around. It's really nice. So I'm just running some errands. It's Sunday morning. Yara's playing basketball and we're having some family coming over today. We're having like a family day. So I just ran out and grabbed some snacks. We decided to keep it pretty like low key. We're going to just like play games and I'll just hang out. You know, my niece is coming. Low key as opposed to what? The parties that you usually have? That don't exist and over and we were like should we do something should we just chill so we're just gonna chill i'm gonna go home and like look through all of our games we have a big cabinet of like board games so i'm trying to figure out what's what's a good option um i just grabbed like chips and dip because i when we were at target last night it just didn't even cross my of mind of course so. you did of course you did i feel like people are always like you're at target so much like yeah i am at target so much because i'm constantly forgetting stuff like the idiot no not only because you're constantly forgetting stuff because you love shopping you love for shopping don't lie ht is real <laughs> if it's not written on my list your girl is not gonna remember it <laughs> and i just feel like i'm constantly like forgetting things that i need to grab so it's always just like a little thing here a little thing there i don't know whatever wearing this really cute puffer from old navy the thing is the sleeves are like short though <laughs> i feel awkward i'm like i could just roll these up i wish they were longer because it's probably too small for you that's why i don't know why they're so short i didn't i didn't think i had like long arms but yeah we had a really you don't have long arms a nice day yesterday it was so chill we watched so much white lotus we have one episode left oh my um, god it... she's going on about that fucking white lotus again dentist appointment um jewelry repair appointment um what else one other i'm bringing my mom's car into the shop for her because she has work like it's just every day there's like a random appointment <laughs> like far away <laughs> i'm like okay gee how bothered you must be it must interrupt your usual schedule of sitting down on the couch watching TV every day. So I'll see you guys at home when we are going to get ready for the day and do a little bit of glam. Okay, we're back home and we're going to get ready for the day. I did just pop a few pimples. No, you popped them in the morning because this has been, this has been there since you started. Maybe that one hasn't, but this one has. I don't want to hear a word from you about it. Oh, huge mistake huge anyway <laughs> let's do some makeup. just like your huge face i'm gonna bust out this makeup by mario again because i really like it i'm gonna start with some hydro grip we're at the very end of this so i thought while i get ready we could have a little ttc chat so i will give a trigger warning if you don't want to hear um about that kind of stuff um then i will put the time that you can skip to because i don't want to upset anyone i've been getting some comments asking if i can chat about she's been getting unsolicited advice guys unsolicited advice <laughs> that was in the last video not this one 
about my TTC journey. TTC means trying to conceive, if you're wondering, because I know I didn't know that for a while what that stood for. First, I'm just gonna <laughs> conceal these blemishes. I've been breaking out so bad and in like hormonal areas. I swear. Oh, please. Oh my God, she makes excuses all the time. Just say I have crap skin and I break out every single day, 365 days a year. It's just my skin. I've done everything and I can't fix it. Every month I like convince you've done everything except eat well. It's my body that I'm pregnant. Like I'm out here <laughs> literally proving that your mind is a powerful thing. It is so true that like your mind controls so much. You can placebo affect anything <laughs> if you have the right mindset. Um, and it's exhausting. And I just wanna like disclaim before I chat about any of this, cause I haven't getting requests to talk about it. Cause like, I didn't know if I even really wanted to chat about it. I know that fertility and trying to conceive and just all that stuff is so sensitive and I don't wanna offend anyone. This is just my feelings and my experience. Um, I know people struggle with it and it takes years and I just really don't wanna come off as insensitive. I just wanted to chat about it um, because I have been getting a lot of questions about it. And I feel like it would be good for me to vet and because she just likes to do, she's just in the mood to chat about it now, but when she doesn't want to chat about it, she won't have anything to do with you guys. And about it. So please like, don't get mad at anything I say. You can talk about it amongst yourselves in the, um, in a chat group. I'm really not trying to offend anyone. I'm just talking from my own experience and my own heart. <laughs> so we've only been trying to see now. I said, see We've only been trying to save, trying to conceive now for a few months. And as I've mentioned, um, I had this kind of preconceived notion She's got another Marcel Marceau <laughs> thing happening today. No, I mentioned that in my other video. Please look up Marcel Marceau. There was only one person who mentioned that she did. And I love her for it. Because you will crack up laughing. Look up Marcel Marceau. And that is what she's looking like. In my head that it would happen fast. Um, that's just what... Especially in this one. <laughs> oh my God. She's white. She's white. I was told from so many people who also had weight loss surgery because I've recently lost over 100 pounds this last year. Mm. And everyone was like, oh my gosh, after I lost 100 pounds from gastric bypass, I got pregnant the first month. You're so fertile after you lose weight. Like when I tell you I've seen hundreds of those comments, like I have seen hundreds. And like that really got in my head. So like I went into this with the full on belief in my- Well, you're an idiot because everyone else's experience, it doesn't mean it's going to be yours. Again jump on the bandwagon, follow what everyone else is doing, follow what everyone else is saying, have a mind of your own. You set yourself up for failure. If you expect to get pregnant straight away after gastric bypass, it may happen, but it may not. My heart that it would happen really fast. And like I said, we've only been trying a few months, so I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying to come off, off as like, I don't know, insensitive to people who have been trying for a long time, or I don't know. I'm, uh, this is so hard to navigate, but I don't know. I just really thought it would happen right away. But since it's only been, you know, a few months. Marcel Marceau, guys, look him up. Once I'm not letting myself get too discouraged, you know? I know on average it takes most couples up to a year and more. Um, I, I look, I've Googled everything like a million times just because I feel like, I feel like, when you want a baby so bad, it just like takes over your emotions. Remember the last video she mentioned that she was Googling everything? Like truly nothing could have prepared me for like how stressful and in your head you can get, especially if like you struggle with anxiety, especially since I thought it would happen quickly. Like I immediately just like panicked. I'm like, is something wrong with me? And I wish I hadn't had it in my head that like it would happen really fast. And I don't know, just those expectations and being disappointed. I wish I could go back. Guys, I can't get over how white she is in this. I just cannot get over it. How does she, does she not see the color difference? I know she's going to bronze up and make herself brown, but the color to start with is not the right color. I can tell myself like, hey, it might take a minute. Let's just stay calm. Because you guys know I did my um, fertility check um, last year before I had even lost the weight and everything was in a healthy range. And, you know, I think it's just really easy to get in your head when you're trying to conceive. Like, and the thing that everyone has... Yeah, she did that when it, it was in a healthy range before she blew up. It's told me, everyone, everyone, everyone is, don't overthink it, don't get in your head, your body can tell that, just have fun. And I know if you are watching this and you're also trying to conceive, that is just the last thing you wanna hear. It really is like, when you want a baby so bad and your heart just like yearns for it, the last thing you want people to tell you is like, don't stress about it, it'll happen. Cause like, that's just, that's just not possible. So if that- <laughs> They're trying to be nice, you stupid cow. What do you want them to tell you the truth? And if they told you the truth, you wouldn't like it. You want them to sit, you sit you down and say, Alexandra, you know what? You need to lose weight to get your fertility better. Would you prefer that? 
or would you prefer them to be nice to you and pat you on the back and say yes it'll happen it'll happen don't worry and grinds your gears too then like i got you i understand um it's just it's really just like the last the last thing you want to hear i went to um my friend's birth my friend's baby's birthday party um a few weeks ago who just turned one he is the cutest baby ever and like literally i had a moment where i was like low-key choking back tears i was like because I was just looking around at all these adorable babies and it just like my heart just like ached it just ached for it look I can understand where she's coming from because I've been there and I don't have children I've had three miscarriages uh, and granted they were before my I was never as heavy as her I probably at my heaviest I was a size 20 um, but before I got to a size 20, I was never like that. I was like 16, 18s, and then just in the last few years, had a few things going on, and I just, um, yeah, didn't have a good, um, didn't have a good trot. But anyway, um, so yeah, I've had three miscarriages, right? And I've been where she's been, but I've never actually, and I really wanted them, but she is like manic wanting them, the way she cried over seeing someone else's baby and that's how badly she wants it I think she wants it now I might be wrong I don't know judge me if you want but I think she wants it because she just wants the perfect family she wants the perfect life with the picket fence her husband a dog and a child she doesn't actually want it because she has the mothering instinct that's just how I feel whereas I had the mothering instinct I basically raised my nieces with my sister and with my sister's husband of course I mean she's <laughs> my brother-in-law they both raised their children but I was always there for my nieces and I raised them up and I felt how that felt and that was beautiful so that sort of gave me a bit of um a bit of that mothering like it's almost like I went through it although they weren't mine it's like I went through it I remember every single photo I've taken with them I remember what that day was about because I was there for every single one of them but I don't think she wants it like that. I mean, I wanted a baby here because I felt like I wanted to be a mother and, you know, I love children. But she, I don't know, I just don't think her heart's in the right place about it. I could be wrong. I don't know. It's just from what I see, from what I see in her, I'm pretty much right about everything that I say about her. I'm not tooting my own horn, but I am because I can see what a manipulator she is. But I think she really just wants it because she's going to think that people are going to ask her, Oh, and I get that question too. And people are going to ask her, oh, don't you have children? Because the next question after don't you have children is always, how many years have you been married? And I know exactly what they're thinking. I know exactly what they're thinking. I get it. I get it to today. Some of my clients ask it, but they don't ask it in a mean way, in a bad way. But the nosy people that ask me will say, um... Uh, oh do you have children I say no no I've got no children are oh, you married I say yes oh, how long have you been married for I say 16 years 17 years and they just look at me and they think should I should I not ask that question and I'm thinking if you ask it you're gonna cop it <laughs> and some of them have and some of them just look at me like oh, okay I better shut up uh, it's just not you know it's not necessary but she probably doesn't want to go through that that's why but you know what it is what it is it is what it is and you just have to you can't control what people are going to ask you you can't control what people are going to think of you it's how you control the situation you cannot let it get to you that badly because i just want it so bad oh my and I'm god sure. do you see what i mean guys i know her i know her in and out like a book I'm sure so many people know that feeling and it's just it's hard <laughs> when you want it so bad but i think i'm really trying to like mentally adjust my mindset to enjoy the journey we are tracking ovulation making sure we're hitting that you know ovulation window because like honestly not tracking <laughs> trying to just have fun i feel like i would just like lose my mind because i need to know i feel like i need to know when i'm ovulating again she wants to control everything control 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 you know and i do think it's hard putting this on the internet too and so many people were like alex you should sh shouldn't share this you should just keep it to yourself it's gonna add way too much pressure i can promise you i would be just as this much stressed out if i wasn't sharing it and yeah well that's a statement that you um in the last one that <laughs> she's such a hypocrite how about her one where she's manic in the car saying the one i just put up where she's saying i can't talk about it anymore it's not doing me well this this and that 
So she's saying she would have been that way whether she spoke about it or not. There you go. It's not even to say that I'm stressed out. Trust me, like I'm keeping my stress low. I'm just trying to enjoy sure it. You are. But I think there's only so much of that you can really do when you want it so bad. And one of the reasons I really wanted to share this was because A, you guys knew one of the biggest reasons I got my gastric bypass was to be my happiest, healthiest self for my Yep. How did that work out for you nine months later? <laughs> I mean, this is, what did I say this was nine months ago? This one? Oh gosh, she's just gotten bigger and bigger. How's your health journey? Future kids and trying to start a family. And B, I just like wanted to be... Sorry, just in my opinion. I know I keep stopping it, guys. But just in my opinion, if you want something that badly, you would do anything for it. If she wants it that badly, she will do anything for it. But she's choosing food over having children. Basically, that's what she's doing. But she knows she needs to lose weight to get more fertile transparent about it with you guys because i think a lot of people probably do want to just keep this to themselves like because it is a stressful process and it is very personal i don't know i just thought it would be good to like share the journey because i know so many people are going through the same things and there's not that much content about it online from what i've seen so it just felt right to talk about so yeah it's only been a few cycles of trying but no luck yet i'm also trying to decide like if i want to share you know right away or if i want to wait for that three month mark you know i vacillate i i think i don't think there's any way she'll wait there's no way she will wait for that three month i don't think she can keep it in she's just got that type of personality i won't know until it happens for us you know but when it happens and when i'm ready to share of course you guys will know but i just want you guys to know if you're out there trying to conceive i know i know it's so stressful and you see other people get pregnant and it's hard it's hard not to be jealous you can be so happy for someone getting pregnant and also be oh my god did she just say that again i'm telling you guys i was where she was but i was never jealous i was never ever jealous i admired them but i was never jealous or envious there's a difference she's such a cow that just goes to show you what type of person she is why would you be jealous of someone? I would be, I was so happy for anyone that told me they were pregnant. There was a bit of a, like, oh, that's so beautiful. I can't wait till I feel that. But there was never like, oh, I'm jealous and I resent you. Oh, she's such a cow. A little bit jealous. You can. You are so allowed to feel those feelings. No, you're not. You're not allowed to feel jealous. I don't think you should be. I just want you guys to know that like you're really not alone it's definitely um an interesting journey that i feel like i was not uh mentally prepared for but i don't really think you can be like mentally how is that a positive thing to tell the people that are watching that they should be that, that it's okay for them to be jealous it's not okay for them to be jealous i think it's a stupid thing prepared for it because it's just different some people have asked have i made any like changes to my life or anything specific to prep for trying to get pregnant obviously like working on my health was a huge thing working on um my diet and exercise the last year plus has been really good i mean it really she's put on hips since this one because her shoulders are a lot smaller in this so as her face it's not as um bloated good place since we started trying actually a few months before we started trying i switched over to prenatal vitamins you guys have seen me share my prenatal bariatrics many times because i have to take bariatric vitamins and now prenatal bariatric my doctor had me switch to those a few months before I started trying i also have cut back a little bit on just a little bit more powder you haven't put enough just a touch more powder Caffeine. I do still drink caffeine, but I never go. She doesn't even realize what she's doing. She applied the blush, and then she put something over it, and then she applied blush again, and now she's put this over it, and the blush is gone. Over 200 milligrams a day. There's a few things I've switched that, like, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, but just like a few. Other no shit, I thought you were a scientist. If you hadn't told me, Alexandra, I wouldn't have believed it. There's small things we've like changed in our house just to be more like fertility friendly. We're only buying non-toxic candles now. I switched to like a pregnancy. Well, that changed, didn't it? Safe skincare routine. I'm not a doctor, please. This is like, being online nowadays is hard. Like it's really hard to feel like you're not gonna say anything wrong. I do still like drink socially, not a lot though, by any means. I don't drink much anyway from my surgery, really only on special occasions. And it's usually just like- She doesn't drink alcohol, she only drinks carbonated one drink but you know i've talked to people who are like yeah i changed nothing and i got pregnant i think something i'm learning a lot too is everyone is so 
different. People follow different things. People get pregnant different ways. And I know if you're also a TTC, I know you've probably Googled absolutely everything. I'm telling you every month, I feel like I have symptoms and I'm like, this is the month. And my husband's like, let's stay grounded because I don't want you to get upset if it's not. It's gonna happen eventually. And I'm like, no, this is definitely the month. Because I'm just, honestly, I'm a very optimistic person. It's hard. No, you're not optimistic, you're manic. There's a difference. Hard for me to like, be a realist. <laughs> Just like a positive person exactly it's hard for you to be a realist because you're always in denial you're in denial about your weight and you're in denial about everything else you just want to live in a rainbow land where fairies and pixies exist and bambi you are in a delusion i always I think things are gonna go perfectly and sometimes that does lead to disappointment but i feel like i'd rather be that way than like kind of like a pessimist i don't know i will say this month was the first month i had this like fluttery feeling that i've never felt before and i see that all the time because i am a flow member i'm on the little flow premium i be looking things up all the time and like something that people often seem to say is that she has put blush on this is her fourth time putting the blush on there's like this like fluttery feeling like pulsating almost and i had that for three days straight this month and i'm like did i make that up in my head don't know <laughs> yes and then one month too i had mid-month spotting which never happens to me ever like i do not spot and i was like oh my gosh this is implantation bleeding here we go this is the month so it's like if you are having those moments too there's kind of that could have been a miscarriage it didn't necessarily have to be implantation but it could have been a miscarriage wrong with you i'm mostly just talking about this because i want you to know that you're not alone and i don't see a lot of people talk about this stuff because it is taboo it is it is scary to talk about online and i know there's going to be a ton of probably unpleasant comments down below or unsolicited advice i'm trying to stay there we go she said it again unsolicited advice if you don't want advice and you don't want comment don't talk about it at all on your channel otherwise shut your face and people can say what they want to say stress-free i'm trying to just stay positive and i believe that like the universe has my back it's gonna happen in god's timing and like i'm just gonna stay positive because honestly that's all you can really do i don't know how this is gonna be perceived it's just it's just my truth <laughs> just my reality right now her reality is delusion she doesn't know what the meaning truth is i don't think of other things i had done oh for a while i was taking these like fertility gummies once i finish the bottle i just like never bought them again because i'm like are these really doing anything i don't know i feel like there's like so many products out there it's almost just like too stressful it's like how do you know if they're really working um when i had my physical a few months ago i think i was just like what do you recommend she's like girl it's just gonna happen in time <laughs> she was so chill about it she's like there's nothing she's like it happens when you least expect it and i'm like great <laughs> it's definitely what i wanted to hear don't give up stay positive she's such an idiot she wants someone with a crystal ball to tell her exactly when she's gonna get pregnant know that you're not alone there are millions and millions and millions of other people out there going through exactly what you're going through right now i think the older i get too nothing's an original thought <laughs> especially now that like especially not with you that's for sure tiktok's a thing and just the internet i'm out here realizing we are all thinking the same things going through the same emotions like and that's why it's so important to talk about stuff so people don't feel so alone you know what I mean? Like, if you're feeling these things and, like, you haven't heard anyone else say they're feeling these things, you're like, oh, I'm in this alone. Like, am I okay? So it's just good to talk about stuff. Anyway, I'm sorry for this long-winded chat. Hopefully it resonated with someone out there. We got this. We got this. Oh, I also just had an afterthought. I've also had, like, five people the last couple of months tell me they keep having dreams that I'm pregnant and that, that I come to them with, like, a positive. That means nothing. It just means that you're talking to them about it and probably a bit too much test or just that i'm pregnant my mom's had two very detailed dreams that i was pregnant and like she said they felt so real i've had a few myself so then that's fun too you're like oh it's a sign <laughs> i don't know that just popped into my head so don't know if anyone can relate hey you guys good morning it is now sunday not sunday it's monday that's the monday vibe where you don't even know it's monday so we had a really nice day yesterday with family it was actually really really fun good vibes it's always really like we didn't film any of it as usual because god forbid we show who's coming to our house rejuvenating to have a day with family like where you're kind of just off your phone just having a good time being present in the moment um so that was really really nice and i feel like we're she sure says that when she doesn't want to vlog be present in the moment you're the one that tries to do this for a living 
just starting the week off on a really good foot. We are heading to the gym. It's upper body day and I'm really loving my like co-pilot phase right now. Like our, our workouts are just like mint. Like they leave me really sore, but like they're actually really enjoyable to do. Uh, those skull crushers though, I know I'm in for some pain <laughs> with the skull crushers, but you know, we're getting stronger. We're getting stronger. I think my upper arms is in a bicep. <laughs> it's not very strong. It's hailing right now, so that's super fun. Hailing, sleeting, I'm not sure the difference. You can probably hear in the vlog. <laughs> hailing is where it comes from the sky, Alexandra. And it comes in like little circles. Little circles, hailstones. That's why they're called stones. Like stones. Isn't sleet when you've had ice on the on the road I mean I wouldn't know because this is just what I know from from movies and from the, look the first time I've seen the first time I ever saw snow was on my honeymoon and out of all places it was in Arizona and we were on top of this mountain my husband and I driving oh my god it was the scariest and there was like a blizzard in this little car we were driving and we could not see in front of us. God, when I think of that, I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. Um, and then when we got past that, there was sleet, which means there's been ice on the on the road and it's melting. How can she not know what that is? She doesn't know the difference between hail and sleet? Talk about ignorant. It's like just like tapping. We really need to get some quotes for fences because we need a fence. <laughs> so sometimes we can just let the dog out and let him run around. He also loves to be outside, I swear. Yeah, listen, I wish you were watching this, Alexandra, so you can remember that your dog loves to be outside. I wish you were watching this. I know that's like a Bernice thing, especially in the colder weather, but like when we're trying to like come in from our walk, he will just sit in the grass and just look at me like, nah, I want to be out here. Yep, and that poor dog is stuck in your lounge room 24 hours a day. I'm getting a late start. It's 9 o'clock, 9.08, um, and we're heading to the gym. So hopefully it won't be as busy, considering people are probably already at work. Sometimes if I go at like 7. My God, who cares if it's busy? This is what she says. She loves herself and she's happy in herself. If you are happy in yourself, you wouldn't give a shit who's looking at you at the gym. True, guys? True. You wouldn't care. If it's busy, it's busy. Big deal. You go on a treadmill, you ignore everyone else, you do what you do. 30, people are going before work, so we'll see. I always it's so awkward when people are like exactly next to you. You are always awkward. As soon as a human being comes next to you, you are awkward. You are weird. But anyway, it's Monday, um, so you know the drill. It's grocery day, meal plan day, plan out the dinners of the week and all that jazz. For lunches this week, I plan out my lunches kind of loosely too. Like I just have like a few options in the house. So either the salmon bowls, because um, I have salmon, I have my QB mayo, yes, from the last vlog. Um, and yeah, what else? I oh, oh, that mouth click, it drives me insane. Thank God she has stopped doing it. Although she's done more annoying things now. Recently, she has other annoying traits. But that click thing, oh my God, when she used to do it, it used to drive me insane. I usually also have leftovers the next day too, or salad, or like a tuna wrap, or a tuna sandwich. I'm sorry if I repeat myself, guys, but it just seems to be... Every time she does it, I can't help but pick her up on it. Or tuna. Um, I'm pretty simple when it comes to lunch. I'm pretty simple when it comes to food for the most part. Pretty chill, so. You just love anything that goes in your mouth. Gotta plan that out. I might plan that out while I'm on the elliptical because I took a picture of our grocery list and I'm pretty aware of what we have in the house right now. Like we don't have a lot of staples left. So it's gonna be kind of like starting from scratch because I've been using a lot of our like just pantry stock so like we got to restock the pantry and just uh having that kind of stuff in the house so yeah i'm trying to think oh there's a couple of huskies <laughs> so cute and then i just have like editing and stuff to do kind of get the week planned out i need to do my duolingo i'm on like a three or four day streak now i don't know but we're staying on top of it we're gonna, we're gonna gee she had three or four day streak about learning spanish i think it is and we never heard about it anymore after that. I learned Spanish this year in full. Yes. Yeah, sure. Huskies are so cute. Like they are some of my favorite dog videos on TikTok. Like Huskies are just so funny. They just have like the most interesting personality. There was, there was a TikTok the other day. The owner came home, the plant was on the floor and the Husky was on check and I'm waiting for my Whole Foods order. So in the last vlog or two ago, you guys told me to try the Quest 
hero protein bars because I'm on the hunt to share with you guys the best protein bars because protein bars are gross gross I'm very thankful that we have found the um, core power protein I think uh, protein bars are gross as well the only one that I like is the Atkins bar that tastes like a Snickers that's really nice shakes that are delish so if we could find a good protein bar then that would be slay <laughs> so you guys said that these taste like rice krispies only one gram of sugar 18 grams of protein that's what i want to see i'm sick of this whole seven grams eight grams it's not enough uh, so low sugar high protein and you guys said specifically don't get the don't get the regular quest get the quest hero so i have two flavors and since um since we're waiting for our groceries and i just worked out and need some protein I figured Let's try it. So I got the chocolate peanut butter and cookies and cream, and I'm gonna try the chocolate. I wonder if she's aware you can get protein other ways. I mean, I know she eats her protein pasta, but you can eat chicken. You can incorporate chicken in every every day meal. You don't have to have those horrible bars. You don't have to try and look for something that doesn't exist. She's looking for the perfect protein bar that tastes like normal chocolate that she could just have ten of. It doesn't exist. Well, it does. If you look, if you're going to eat the Atkins bars, but you'd be living in the bathroom because those things just make you go to the bathroom if you have too many of them because it's got this um, sweetener in them. Chocolate peanut butter because I feel like chocolate peanut butter is kind of like a staple. It's like it's just it just feels right to try first. Um, okay, so here's what it looks like. It's kind of obvious from here. You can tell it has like that rice crispy type texture to it, and that could go either way because I feel like I used to have these kind of protein bars when I was like young. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Mmm. Okay. Okay. These are good. Okay, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna take a bite. Never saw her eat them again. Never saw her bring them into the house again. Into this one too. And I'll just save them at home. Because now I'm invested. This is the cookies and cream. Cookies and cream can get funky. It can get funky. I do like these. It doesn't have a super proteiny taste. It's not like overwhelmingly. Because you know protein has that kind of chalky. It just has a flavor. This one actually tastes pretty good okay i could definitely enjoy that so let's try the cookies and cream this one has a white chocolate outer shell <laughs> i'm having a hard time tasting it because all i taste is peanut butter okay this one's really good too they're both really good also 18 grams of protein thank you thank you guys because i saw a comment and then i saw someone reply to it and they're like this is true try this one <gasps> yum oh my gosh guys we're doing it we're finding good protein bars because Oh, and she's still buying different protein bars now and still looking for other ones. She's still looking for that, um, like that Willy Wonka ticket, golden ticket. <laughs> That's just going to say to her, you can eat this. It's going to taste exactly like chocolate and it's really good for you and you can have as much as you want. It doesn't exist. Just it matters so let me know i think i like the peanut butter one a little bit better but they're both good they also had a caramel pecan one some other one i don't know they had a few different flavors so i don't know if i'll try those or not but those two are a hit so i'm just waiting for the groceries and we're gonna go home and put them away and uh continue on with I wonder if she recycles that cardboard. Sorry, it's not cardboard, it's paper bags. Many hours later. Hello you guys, it is so much later. It is 6.30 and I have honestly just been editing all, all day. And now I'm cooking dinner, so I thought that could be a fun way to kind of conclude this vlog. I'm making my, one of my favorites, and one of yards favorites, Sloppy Joe casserole. So essentially we do a lean ground turkey um, and I'm gonna season it really well, make a homemade Sloppy Joe sauce. You can just like Google. I haven't, I don't remember this. I mean, I've heard of it, so I know she makes it. I can't remember what it looks like, but everything she makes just looks disgusting. I don't know why, it just turns me off. It. Um, I've kind of like copied several different recipes of this and then just kind of made it my own. Um, there's a lot of sloppy joe casserole recipes online. So I like to use the lean ground turkey. I season with like salt, pepper, garlic powder, paprika, um, all like my staples. And um, then instead of tater tots, I use sweet potato puffs. They're so good, it adds like a tiny bit of sweetness. And then I always Google just like a sloppy joe sauce, but it's pretty much just like ketchup, brown sugar, 
um, Worcestershire. See, like my memory's so bad. I'm like, I'm just gonna Google a sloppy joe sauce. Sometimes I'll add a little bit of cream cheese. Keep playing with your hair while you're about to start cooking. Keep putting your hands in your head. Make sure all that hair goes all over the counter. Um, you don't need to, but if you want it a little bit like creamier. She's so insecure, guys. She's so insecure. She talks about loving herself and projects to us that you need to love yourself in this and that. When she doesn't even love herself. Not that I blame her. Sorry, the <laughs> turkey's cooking um, versus like without. So you can do it either way. I genuinely just switch it up depending if we want it creamy or not. Let me stir this. I don't know why that ground turkey's like aggressive. Like it's like way more aggressive than my typical meat. Um, so put the sloppy joe sauce in with the, you can do ground turkey or ground beef. Oh my God. And then like a little layer of cheese. Stop it. First episode of season two. You're just getting those sweet potato puffs cooked. Maybe a little longer, but yeah, it's really easy. It's really yummy and it stores great for leftovers. Gorgeous. Also serving it with some green beans. Season two. Me, Yarn Brew are on the couch. We just watched the first episode of season two of White Lotus. And we're about to go outside, which is why his harness is on for the last pee of the night. You know how it's Why does he have to have his harness on while he's inside and just to go outside and pee? You have to put a harness on him? Oh, you gotta go pee pee. Oh, I love when he's calm. Just the best. So I'm really excited for season two of White Lotus. I actually really. See this guy's here? Now, I mentioned to you guys, and I'm going to show you guys because a lot of you guys are saying in the. Um, are saying in the comments that you want to see before and after shots of when I get my tummy tuck done. Well, I'm also getting my arms done. I can't remember if I mentioned that. Now, my arms are nowhere near as bad as hers, but I still hate them because I look at them when I'm doing, when I'm cutting hair. I never wear short sleeves. I never have because I've always had big arms. But everyone has always said to me, you don't have big arms, you know, but I feel they were. So, and the amount of weight that I've lost, I've got, you know, I've got some sagginess under there that it's nowhere near as hers my god no oh gosh no um i'm getting them done as well so i will show you guys before and after and do it like a little video i'll do a video before um i go in and then i'll do a video once i start healing with my arms and my tummy tuck if you guys are interested in seeing that i'm happy to do that for you guys you, never, you just never know with the season two of stuff, but it, it seems like it's going to be really good. And I don't know why I'm drawing a blank on her name, but I love the girl from Parks and Rec, so I love that she's in it. So yeah, that is going to do it for this vlog, because I imported the footage, and I think it's kind of a lot from our chats. But sorry, it was a pretty chatty vlog, but uh, I'm sure the next one will be a bit more busy, because like I said, we have a lot of driving to do this week and a lot of errands and stuff, so I will keep you guys posted in another vlog very soon. Say goodnight, guys. That face. <laughs> so cute. Are you waving? I saw a little wave. You said wave. Say bye, guys. That's Yaman sitting next to her. Look at that. His hand on his jeans. <laughs> not touching the dog. Moth girl, you're going to love this one. He's not showing Bruno any affection. Nothing. Can you have a dog sit next to you like that and not even put your hand over and try and pat? Bye, guys. He sits very feminine, doesn't he? At least he's got nice legs. <laughs> All right, guys, that was actually really fun. <laughs> I enjoyed that one. So I will uh, upload that and get that going for you guys. And I'll speak to you all soon. Love you all lots. Thank you again for all the comments. Thank you for everyone who has subscribed. I really appreciate it. And I'll speak to you guys shortly. Leave me the comments, yeah? I love comments.